Hello guys, what's happening everyone? It's another month and happy new year to all of you for 2025. And as some of you guys already know, this kind of month, we're gonna be checking out the Android apps of the month of January. There are top six Android apps and we're gonna be checking them out and we enjoy it throughout the apps. And you let me know in the comments down below which application captured you mostly. And last but not least, let's jump in on the apps. First Android app of the list is called Video AI. So this is a video app AI, which helps you throughout different variety of prompts. So as you can use it throughout your video AI. Now there are demonstration through here, through the videos, like some of the videos which you can use, as you can see it's like this one, like a dog here, uh, what's going on, there's this one here. You can just tap on differentiating which video you really like. And uh, when done, you can just check uh, promote, which has been used, a donut transformed to a coffee cup. And you can try to reuse it, or you can try to generate it depending on you. But just know that it uses a process uh, depending on you now the subscription you'd like but it seems to be really convenient throughout this application can resist on here on this side you can just have a prompt site so as you can um, try to uh, write your prompt and it shows you the feed which you want on this side you can see the bunch and bunch of effects which, which you can just check it out and reuse them depending on you what you really want throughout your videos and it gives you a really perfect results as you can see here so yeah jumping to a second app of the list is called standby now standby app this application is like um, the lock screen let's say like a lock screen or a standby app whereby you can just uh, select any kind of clocks you want and you can even keep it dual as you can see here and you can even try to add a music player like here whenever you play anything throughout your phone and you can even add some widgets over here and through here you can have even a weather so let's Let's say you're having a phone stand like this you can just keep your phone here whenever you're charging and it gives you some on the go um, kind of notification or on the go widgets which you can just have a look and check it out which it's really really amazing and there's this kind of slideshow which just pass over here and it gives you some amazing kind of look throughout your phone third application of the list is called the remodel AI now what it does you can snap your room like me what I did I can actually load my image over here here and it will analyze and give me some kind of um, improvement through my room what I can change and what I can enhance you can see here you can just select new flows if you want some flows but if new walls if you want some new walls or if you want something like a paint and you can say paint and it's actually giving you some ideas throughout there you can see here select the object and you can just select like this is the object i wanted to do so it will just um operate throughout the object which i'm selecting so as you can see through here guys you can select different types of your setup just to give you an idea it gives you some concept what you can do and it's such an amazing kind of thing throughout this kind of app that's what i like about it you can just select a modern kind of country it has different variety through here depending on you what the test you like let's say i like something like this then i'm gonna be saving it and it will just be downloading on my phone direct and i get a concept on my new project what i can be working on the application of the list is called smart launcher some of you guys already know we didn't feature a lot and a lot of launches um before but today we are checking out a smart launcher it seems to be really great through this kind of launcher so over here you can see you can just tap on allow and you continue and you allow everything you like throughout the launch what it says and you can see these are the premium stuff which you need but for now we just don't need that we just want to use the home launch really nice and amazing kind of layout throughout smart launcher really clean as you can see you can add even icon pack and through here you can select your feed um, from the sources you want let's say i want some gaming kind of article life hacker space uh, the verge al jazeera android authority tom's guide android technology uh, here wikipedia nasa international android central so i've selected all of them so when you're done just go back and through here this is your feed it feels like google now kind of feed but this one is actually not bad it's just almost there i wish it could have a different block or is there a customization you can select oh there's a layout customization which is good so you can select between compact and it's just changed throughout the layout of you how you want it to be 
or you can select throughout large now i prefer large because this gives me like a feed throughout google how they keep it throughout their feed apps normally when you tap on here it just showcase you some kind of options which you just want to trigger depending on you on this side it opens play store and it's really nice you can just hold it here you can go through changing wallpapers depending on you what you really need it comes with its own kind of wallpaper built in if you like something like this you can just actually apply and it will just apply for both and you're having you an amazing kind of wallpaper on the go throughout your device so fifth application is called universal copy now this kind of copy application it seems to be really great because we're going to allow first of all um universal here because i'm really using xiaomi so just know that just have to allow some few stuff and if you want to allow notification you can and when you're done you can just tap on done so it will be just active like that so what it does so many times i've been having a difficulty to copy my caption or to copy any text online so what it does you can come here and select the button you want so let's say right now i want it whenever i press the back button this one when i hold it it will select the text so having a news article like this and i want to copy some of the content i'm gonna hold the back button and it will just scan and i'm gonna just hold it and it will just copy for me all the text over here which is really really amazing and when done just tap on copy and you're gonna be pasting it on your source you want which is really really great through using this kind of uh, application throughout copying and it gives you some much enhancement throughout flexibility of your text i understand google pixel they have it already like select text and you can but this one is much better through selecting any text you want just hold it and it will scan everything and you're gonna be tapping here and it will just select the text you want or you can go over here and select it and it will copy all of it which is really really nice but not least it's a gaming app it's called nemoroid uh, gaming you can just load your retro games over here and play them depending on you what you really need and when you're done you're gonna be just tapping on play and you're having a flawless gameplay over here like me i'm playing super mario and it's really really amazing it gives that kind of nostalgic kind of vibes through playing your games and it's really much better so on top of that on the nemoroid app you can actually mount external controllers throughout playing your games and you can even having it to map and it gives it much better enhancement throughout clutching your games Ooh, yeah so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it through this kind of application which application captured you mostly throughout the gaming side and even throughout the productivity side and even throughout the ai as some of you guys already know ai right now has become something which is so so important throughout our, our workflows throughout our usage our day-to-day -day basis i understand ai is like damn why should we be using ai so many times like but it helps us we can resist through that it's a technology you just have to jump on the ship and go if you don't want you'll be left behind and later on you start to be complaining so don't be complaining try to use this kind of application for better utilization to understand which application works for you mostly best and that's it about the january 2025 um application of the month and out on the next one guys hope you enjoyed it and another kind of stuff we didn't drop another video of highlights or recaps but i'm planning on making it and i guess i'm gonna be throwing it soon so up on the next one guys catch you on the next tech video and peace